What is good everybody on YouTube? It is your boy Forrest Ripperton back at it again with another video. You did. And today guys, we are going to the thrift stores to see if I can pick up me some, you know what I'm saying, some pieces, like some personal pieces and also some pieces for the thrift. You know what I'm saying? Last time I did like a um, $50 outfit challenge. So today we just going, you know what I'm saying, go to the thrift and see if we can pick up some fire pieces. We are in front of the Goodwill right now. And then we're gonna go to Savers as well. So let's see if we can find some fire pieces in here. You know I'm sick. Oh yeah, so last time I was in here, I found this fire like racing jacket. Um, I had to pick it up because I couldn't leave without it. So this, uh, I feel like this thrift store is underrated. I feel like they be having like some fire pieces in here. I'm telling y'all like, I feel like a lot of people sleep on this thrift store. Like some people be in the Savers like, this is the um, Goodwill by Morgan State. So anybody who from Morgan, if y'all watching this, this Goodwill is like right next to the Savers, like a couple minutes down from the Savers. And I feel like y'all sleep on this Goodwill. So definitely they got some nice pieces in here. They have this um, Phillies, you know what I'm saying, zip up little joint. So y'all sleeping on this. And ladies, y'all gotta start shopping in the men's section as well. I know y'all do, but sometimes y'all be sleeping on it. So y'all definitely gotta come to the men's section and I'm definitely gonna go check out the women's section as well after I'm done over here. But they got this nice little Phillies little jacket, you know what I'm saying? Good condition as well. It's a size extra large. I saw this last time I came in here, but I just didn't cop it. But I definitely might be getting this joint. It says it's by the Stitches Athletic Gear. So definitely gonna put this in the cart as well. Alright y'all, so fall and winter is coming up, so you know people gonna start like getting coats and stuff like that sooner or later. So I found this like nice army fatigue little jacket. I feel like this joint is sweet. It's definitely like that heavy feel. Definitely good quality on it. Um let me see what kind of brand is this. It says Knox Armory. It's a medium, Washington DC, you know. That's where I'm originally from, you know what I'm saying? Rep the city, but definitely fuck with this joint so i might be putting this in the cart this is like 25 bucks so that's not really a bad price for this joint but i don't know i'm gonna see what's up with this joint i'm gonna put it to the side i also found this like yellow zip up hoodie it's by a brand called pacer um never really heard of this before but for some reason i like it it's more of a darker yellow i'm trying to like get it in a nice lighting um i don't really have any yellow stuff and like y'all know i don't wear bright colors but for some reason I feel like I've been liking yellow a lot lately, like yellow clothing. And I feel like this is like a nice little throw on sweater. I'm gonna try it on and see what it look like. It says it's a large, but it looks a little bit smaller, but I'm gonna see what this joint look like on. All right, y'all, so this is how the yellow hoodie look on me. I really fuck with this joint. Like, I like the way how it looks just small on me, but not too small. Like the cut of it just looks real sweet. I mean, not with this outfit, but you know what I'm saying? The hood fit on me right and everything, but I feel like with the right fit, this joint will be sweet, so I'm probably definitely gonna cop this for a personal cup. What y'all think about this joint? Sip it all the way up. Oh yeah, these some pants that I'm working on, you know what I'm saying? If you follow me on Instagram, you saw these already, but they not finished yet, but forget about that. But, I'm saying, I fuck with this joint. How y'all, how y'all fuck with this? Might be copping this, you did. Oh yeah, so I'm done with the like outerwear section. I like to come in the outerwear section first because it would be really some sleepers in here. So I try to make sure I look through everything in the outerwear section because, you know what I'm saying, you never know what you can find, you know what I'm saying. Alright y'all, so I found this Ralph Lauren Chaps, um, Chaps sweater, size medium, you know what I'm saying, real good come up right here, I feel like this joint is hard. I saw this last time I was in here too, but I didn't cop it, but I'm definitely copping it now, so how y'all feel about this joint? This joint is sweet, I feel like it'll look nice on me too as well, so it's gonna be like, when I find pieces in here, I be like, should I keep it or should I sell it? I be having that battle like all the time. So this is gonna be one of those pieces that I don't know if I wanna keep or put in the shop. So definitely a, you know what I'm saying, come up. Y'all see the sign right here, bruh, bruh. Y'all see the sign right there, bruh, bruh. That C in the R, L, you did. But yeah, this definitely coming home with daddy. All right, so I found me a champion, a black champion embroidery, little sweater right here. You know what I'm saying, that champion. And it says extra large. Definitely, oh, focus, focus. There we go. Um, so I'm saying, definitely gonna get this. Obviously, who doesn't like Champion? You know what I'm saying, remember this shit was in the goddamn Walmart. But look where it's at now. Hundred dollar pieces and shit like that. But definitely gonna 
cop this joint. You dig? You feel me? You swagging? Okay. All right, y'all. So we just came out the Goodwill. I got some pieces right here. I got some in this bag. And I also put some in my Marilyn Monroe bag. So we about to go to the Savers. I'm going to see if I can find some pieces in there. I spent a good amount in this Goodwill. Um, I didn't expect to spend that much, but it's definitely worth it. So I'm going to see what I can find in the Savers as well. So, you know what I'm saying? I picked up some good pieces. Yeah, we about to check out Savers and see what we can pick up in there. So we're going to see you in there. You did. All right, y'all, so we are in the savers, as y'all can see. And I put my glasses on so I can see a little bit. So if y'all see the reflection on there, I mean, y'all already know how that go. So I'm going to see what we can find up in this joint right now. I'm going to look at the mini t-shirts that they have over there. Um, I normally look at the outerwear first, but I'm going to look to see what I can find in the t-shirt. So let's see if I can find some sweet t-shirts in here or not. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, so I've been looking through like this rack. I haven't been down it that much. I'm like in the middle and I found this one little like Nautica t-shirt. Not sure about it, you know what I'm saying, to put in the shop. I mean, this is eight bucks. I don't know if it's really worth the eight bucks, but I'm gonna just sit it in the cart just to, you know what I'm saying, think about for right now. Um, also, also I got this like Gap tee. This is kind of like a personal cop. I don't really like red shirts like I was just talking about this earlier I don't really like red shirts but I like the texture of it it's like really thin and I feel like it'll fit on my body a nice nice way so I'm gonna try this on I'm gonna see how it fits but these are the only two shirts that I've found right now with looking in the shirt section I also found this like it says duck commander T fear uh fear the beard um it got like a skeleton with a beard on it I just saw this because it gave me like Harley Davidson vibes so that's why I got it. It's like a dollar ninety nine cent, but I kind of fuck with it. I might put it in the cart. You know what I'm saying? How y'all feel about it? It's a nice little cool, like, what would I call this? It's like a faded grayish, brownish color, kind of. But yeah, I lucky like this, so I'm gonna put it in the cart and see what's up. I also found this other little shirt right here. It says, I got your back. Two skeletons, you know what I'm saying? You get it? I got your back. <laughs> mm, funny. But yeah, I like this little shirt a little bit. I'm gonna see what it look like on me, but you know what I'm saying y'all like this joint. Let me know if y'all like this joint. Let's look a little like it's a cool little joke. I fuck with it. I also found this uh, Marvel Comics T-shirt right here. It's a size medium for a dollar and forty nine cent. You know what I'm saying? And it has like the Hulk and all that on here, bro. This is a nice T-shirt right here, size medium. I definitely fuck with this. I'm definitely gonna cop this t-shirt right here, bro. Like, it definitely, literally, the Marvel Comics right there. You see the tag. This is hard. Definitely gonna cop this. You see that, the Incredible Hawk. All right, guys, so I'm done looking at the shirts, and I see why a lot of people don't really like thrifting because you have to have a lot of patience, and looking through all of this stuff can get, like, really irritating, and you don't find anything. So like, look at all of these shirts. I went through all of this on this whole rack and I went through all of this on this whole rack and it's really a hassle. Like literally looking through one by one by one of these, it can definitely get tiring, but you gotta have that heart and that want to find some stuff. So that's why I love thrifting and I'm saying, I see why other people don't like it, but that's the fun in it. You just never know what you're gonna find. But I'm about to go over to like the outerwear and like I'm gonna see if I can find some jeans or some bags. Last time I found a fire ass bag in here, so I'm definitely gonna see if I can find some bags. But we're about to go to the outerwear and I'm gonna see what's up with that. Yeti. Ah uh, y'all, so the sweater section was really ass. I couldn't find anything in the sweater section. But I went, hold on. What is this? I don't know what this is. I'm just talking and like looking at stuff. I don't know what this is. But it like made me look at it. But anyway. The sweater section was really ass, but I went into the denim section because I also want another pair of denims, like I need some more denims, but also I wanna make, let me show y'all, but also I wanna make some more of the smiley, the well not smiley face, I wanna make some more of the sad face pants. I'm not done with these, I'm gonna be putting more on the rest of the legs, but I wanna make some more like sad face jeans. So I went and looked at the denims and they have like a lot of like Levi's that I really like that I wanna customize. So. I'm probably gonna get a few of those. I'm gonna show y'all the denims. Right, yeah, so I got like these black, like ashy ones, and I came to the realization that Levi 505s are like one of the best like denims that I like personally. I really like the way these look. I also have 
um because those are regular fit these are relaxed fit 550s these aren't the 505s but for some reason i like the way these look like i like that light wash denim like i was telling you guys i'm gonna try these on for myself um i think this is my size so i'm gonna try these on for myself also another pair of 550s relaxed these are some more denims this isn't my size this is size 28 but i can see like the smiley faces on them like that'd be hard so definitely probably gonna cop these and then another pair of levi 505s right here as well definitely my size i'm gonna try these on but i really do like this light you know what i'm saying light wash on here so i think i'm pretty much done in here i'm just gonna like browse through the bags and browse through the hats and i'm gonna go check the shoes out i don't really know if i'm gonna really find any shoes in here but that's pretty much it i'm pretty much done in here so i'm gonna go purchase this stuff and then i'm gonna see you guys in the crib so yeah i'm about to see y'all in the crib and i'm gonna show y'all all the stuff that i picked out you did all right y'all so we are back in the crib and i hope you guys like enjoyed like the little vlog i'll be trying to vlog for y'all because i know that's what y'all like and it's kind of really for me vlogging so for sure i'm gonna keep doing that let me know if y'all like it or whatever but I'm about to show y'all the pieces that I didn't show in the vlog because I don't want to like waste the film and stuff on my camera or anything like that. So I'm just going to show you guys the pieces that I picked up that wasn't in the vlog. So I'm going to just go ahead and get right into it. You did. So the first piece that I'm going to talk about is this piece right here. Uh, if you guys remember that army fatigue jacket that I had that I was showing you guys, I didn't end up picking that up. I picked up this and this was inside of it. So normally like those army jackets like that, they have like... A little like liner in the inside that you could take out and you could just like put on I'm gonna like put it on for y'all so y'all can see how it look with the right outfit it looks sweet it serves as like a liner so I really like this a lot so you know I'm saying this was 20 bucks the actual like jacket was 25 so it seemed like they was gonna try to charge me I don't know what they was gonna do but yeah I like this I don't know how y'all feel about it but I'm definitely gonna pull off an outfit and post it on Instagram, of course. So, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? The next piece that I picked up is this, like, mint green hoodie right here. Well, not hoodie sweater. I'm always calling sweaters hoodies. But I picked up these right here. This sweater right here. And I like this sweater because it reminds me of the uh, Bare Knuckles sweater that recently just got released. But theirs was, like, 400 bucks, And it's a cashmere sweater with, like, distressing and stuff like that. But... I really like this sweater. It fits like that crop feel. This mint green, I don't have this like color at all in my wardrobe. So I definitely had to pick this up. And seeing bare knuckles with it and me seeing this, it just like kind of made me like want it even more. So yeah. Another piece that I picked up is this Elizabeth Town um, college sweater. I've never heard of this uh, college ever in my life before. So if you guys know like where this college is, then let me know. But it has the words on the front, you know what I'm saying, Elizabeth College. And then on the back, it has the logo of the E on the back as well. Nice little vintage, cozy, you know what I'm saying, sweater. Gear for sports, big cotton sweater. So definitely rock with this. Who doesn't love a good, nice college sweater? I mean, come on. It's a size large. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or put it in the shop, but anything that I don't keep, you guys are definitely going to see in the shop, and I'm going to put it in the description. So definitely be on the lookout for that stuff to see what's in there another piece that i thought was really really cool is this all around like print on this like shirt right here this like polo kind of shirt it's not polo but it's like the polo kind of shirt the collar shirt and it has the three buttons up and it has the american eagle with the flag on it and then it has the flag and the american eagle on the back and i thought this was like it says in congress so it says something declaration of 13 I, I think it's the declaration of independence don't quote me on that but definitely thought this was like a nice shirt i probably can't fit it because it's a double xl but with the right fit on somebody else i could definitely see this looking really sweet so i'm definitely putting this in the shop of course so definitely thought this was a nice shirt so i had to grab that bit another piece i picked up was this cozy Gildan sweater and it says Hershey on there in pink. The light is kind of like super bright so you can't really see the pink on it. Yeah, you can't really see it but it's a brown oversized hoodie. I think this is like a 2XL. Yeah, it's a 2XL. It's brown with the pink, um, excuse me, with the pink Hershey 
you know what I'm saying, print it on there. And I really like this. I had my pants on right there, and I had tried this on, and I was like, dang, this is a fit. So stay tuned to my Instagram, so whenever it feels like a little bit chillier outside, that's definitely going to be a fit. So stay tuned to that. But this is definitely a nice little hoodie, so nothing crazy, but nice hoodie. Next one is this Fila like vest. It's like a golf vest, but it's like a nice, nice vest. Personally, I'm not a vest vest person unless it's like a sweater vest kind of, but I really like the way this look. I feel like somebody would be able to pull this off. It has like that bronze Fila embroidered right there. Then it has the bronze lining across the neck, the arms, and on the bottom. I just felt like this was a nice little vest. And I felt like somebody would appreciate it. So definitely had to pick this up. And I would be putting this in the shiz up. You dizzy. Next piece, speaking of vests, is this Tommy Hilfiger sweater vest right here. This is a size large. And like I was saying, I do like sweater vests. Like recently, I've been liking sweater vests. So I've been wanting to like, you know what I'm saying, swag them a little bit. So I felt like this would be a nice little little piece to put in my wardrobe so I'm gonna see what outfits I could pull off with this and if I feel like I can't pull any outfits off I know somebody else will so you know what I'm saying stay on the lookout for this one but it's like a nice little like brownish you know what I'm saying brownish tan um sweater vest so definitely a nice pick out and for the last pickup that y'all didn't see in the vlog it is another Tommy Hill figure sweater you know what I'm saying? You see the Tommy for your mommy. Shout out Paul Cantu again. It's a Tommy Hilfiger sweater. Nice, 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 nice sweater. It's like that light, light, light beige. So definitely rocking with this. Definitely going to get some fits off with this one for sure. For my like cozy, classy style that I be trying to like swag. You know what I'm saying? So this is definitely going to be a nice, nice piece that I can put together an outfit in. So what a like nice dresser. If y'all saw my uh $50 um outfit challenge and savers I could put that dress shirt on underneath this with some nice pants or something stay tuned to that but yeah definitely love this piece and this was the last piece that I picked up that you guys didn't see in the vlog so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the video um I'm definitely going to continue doing the thrift vlogs as much as I can because I, it's really fun me doing it and I know you guys love it as well and I'm going to keep doing like the outfit challenges and stuff like that so stay tuned to that um as you guys can see I had like the um sad face pants those are like my new like brand so definitely stay tuned to that I'm going to drop that link to the Instagram below so follow that because that's like my clothing brand type that I'm about to be doing I'm not really doing like cut and sew it's going to be like customized pieces but that's my like logo that I'm going to be using so stay tuned to that I'm not doing the like 222 plus 111 thing anymore but like if I do use it it's going to be incorporated into that so definitely stay tuned to that I'm gonna put the Instagram below I'm gonna put the thrift shop below I'm gonna put my Instagram below and all that there and you already know how it go it's your boy Forrest Ripperton and we are out and I will see you in the next video you did